Hello everybody, this is Balji from JK. In this video, uh, we are going to replace PowerFlex 400 VFD drive with the exactly same brand and same model. This is 20 horsepower VFD drive and totally burned out. So we're gonna replace with the same size and same brand. This is not a new installation. So this is just a replacement and we will go through the some basic settings you need to uh, for startup. So before you touch this VFD, just make sure there is no power going to this VFD drive. So you need to lock or tag out to your breaker or you need to follow your company or job site guidelines for lock or tag out. And once you lock or tag out, make sure you can double check there is no power. You can use your multimeter, any meter to check there is no power going to this VFD drive. Once you double check, you can remove the top cover and there is some wiring. And uh, on, if you see on the top, it's called control wiring. And at the bottom, a little bit thicker wiring is called working circuit. So you can take a picture or make a note before you remove those wires so you don't have any trouble once you replace VFD and you're gonna install a new one and you have to wire up because if you have a new installation that's totally different because if you have to make your own uh, diagram schematic wiring diagram how you're gonna wire up and how you're gonna control your VFD there's a lot of different ideas there's a lot of different ways for this one we just gonna uh, switch so we're gonna uh, first disconnect all the the wiring so these three wirings is getting out power from the VFD there's three color brown orange and yellow most industrial they using these three color and green for ground or for chassis ground same here those three phase is main power coming from the breaker to the VFD is called N feed power so these are the same color so you need to make sure uh, you keep separate so don't just confuse where the power in and out they need to go exactly at the same spot where you removed so now we're gonna remove ground wire that's chassis ground go to motor and the the last thing we're gonna remove those control wiring we're gonna use micro Phillips screwdriver to remove if you have more than one wire or one cable you need to label or you need to remember some kind of uh, the numbers or uh, color like there's a multiple red color and black color so basically I have a numbers on each cable and I also took a picture by the the number of the terminals the wire gonna go once I remove the wire now we're gonna remove there's two screw on the top and the two on the bottom we're gonna remove those screws and VFD will come out if you have access you can get information from the VFD before you remove but Another way you can remove VFD and there is a label on the side and it will give you all information if you don't recognize the VFD it will tell you what size and how many phase how many bolt is all the information. So once you got it you're gonna be ready for new drive but you need uh, all the information from the motor nameplate. There's also this picture can show you how you can read motor nameplate because we need all information to program a new VFD. Now I have a same brand, same model and exactly same size. It's 20 horsepower PowerFlex 400 VFD drive. You can always match the, the label on side. When it comes new, it also comes a wire protector, plastic cover. So now we're gonna mount this VFD. After it mount, now time to wire up. So first I'm gonna wire up those three, that's incoming power to VFD. 
so those all wire wired up and make sure there is no uh, wire hanging out or no exposed wire now we are gonna wire up motor goes to the motor then final is ground and then we are gonna wire control power we all done we have exactly same wiring and now we gotta make sure those dip switches are matching with the with the old VFD because that's the way the mode you want to control your VFD drive so I made sure those switches are exactly same as the old one so now all wiring is ready you can always double check there's no exposed wire and it is ready to program now we're gonna turn breaker on we're gonna remove lock and it's power on now our VFD drive is ready to program let's move to programming so we're gonna change only basic parameters and we have all information handy we got earlier from the motor nameplate so first time when you go to the screen there's couple button you can use to uh, do programming so simply first thing I'm gonna press escape couple time until I see first letter start blinking and I will use up and down arrow to move to uh, the next letter I need to see P so first parameter is P31 is motor nameplate voltage so this drive I'm using 460 voltage 460 voltage so I set to 460 parameter 32 I'm gonna use arrow up and down press enter motor nameplate hertz I'm in the United States so there's a 60 hertz so in Europe it's going to be 50 Hertz but I'm in United States it's 60 so next parameter is P33 it's motor overload current so this one really important you don't want to overkill your drive and you need to set the overload current according to your motor nameplate as mine is 60 name so I'm going to set motor overload current to 60 name and I will press enter this parameter is saved and I will escape go back go up arrow P034 minimum frequency so it's up to you whatever you want to do the minimum frequency but I will set to 12 Hertz so my minimum frequency will be 12 Hertz so now the next parameter P35 is maximum frequency so maximum frequency is set to 60 Hertz I'm gonna leave it the same press escape go back I will go to the parameter 36 that's the start source now uh, you need to know if it's two wire three wire so actually I mean I have a two wire controlling system so I'm gonna leave at three I press enter and press escape to go back next parameter is P37 is top mode so I'm gonna leave a cost so I will go to the next parameter P38 speed reference actually I have a speed part at the panel so I'm gonna use analog N1 so it also depend on your wiring how you wanna wire you wanna wire control from uh, your uh, VFD drive or from the speed part parameter P39 is the excel time how fast how quick you wanna speed up your drive from 0 Hertz to 60 Hertz or whatever the the speed set so I'm gonna I'm going to set 15 second then I will press enter press escape to go back and the next parameter is P40 P40 is DXL time so I will do the same I will choose the same DXL time 15 second press enter factory default is 20 second so I'm gonna use down arrow to bring uh, this numbers from 99 second to 15 second now our basic parameters are set and our VFD drive is ready to use 
now on the vfd drive you simply click on the auto button and you are ready to use remotely so we will test from the panel we have a start stop switch and speed path and as we seen the drive is running and my both switches are communicating with the vfd that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video please like share and comment don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching